While the battle continues on Capitol Hill, countless Americans are left in limbo, everyone from federal workers who aren't getting paid to national park visitors. The impacts even being felt right here in our area. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joining us now with a closer look at where and how people are being affected. Well, one of the most visual examples we've seen is the closing of national parks. The closest one about 30, 35 miles away from Charlotte here at Kings Mountain National Military Park. The pounding rain and occasional speeding car are the only noises echoing across this site where the Battle of Kings Mountain was fought in 1780. In 2019, the battle is happening in Washington as the government remains partially shut down. At Kings Mountain, signs and barriers block people from driving into the park's visitor center, though anyone can still walk under or around the barricades. Unlike what we've seen at other national parks, we didn't see piles of trash lying around, except the occasional soda bottle on the side of the road. But state leaders are worried about another cleanup, the ongoing recovery efforts from Hurricane Florence. Governor Roy Cooper says the shutdown will delay the state from receiving long term disaster recovery funds and limit access to federal recovery experts. And meanwhile, people applying for federal loans to buy homes are also getting hit. Loan officer Chris Steele says some steps, like verifying your tax records, can't be completed because the IRS is shut down. Just talk to your loan officer and make sure that you've kind of got your ducks in a row and that you're planning the contract timeline appropriately. And if you're traveling through Charlotte Douglas in the coming days, TSA agents and air traffic controllers here are among thousands of federal employees working without pay. If and when the shutdown is lifted, federal workers in our region are expected to receive back pay for the days they've missed. Reporting in Blacksburg, South Carolina, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.